I have never seen an automated plugin translating a website working this awesome. This is insane. It really translates 100% accurate. This is crazy. Hey guys, what's up? It's the WordPress doctor here. And in this video, we are going to review a plugin called Convey This. They actually contacted me to ask me if I can review their plugin. And I also get a pro plan for a year so I can see how this works and if this really benefits you and me as a small business owner and for my clients. So I'm always really interested in new plugins, new themes, and I like to review them so we all know what's it worth eventually down the line. And we're gonna compare the prices with WPML and we're gonna look at the quality of the automatic translation because this is a plugin, you don't need to translate anything yourself, it is all done for you. So let's take a look under the hood and let's go and install this plugin on a website of a client of mine and you can even go to this website right now to see for yourself how it works because it will be online for at least one year. All right, let's go. So if you read through the story of Convey, this is pretty amazing. They have no funding whatsoever and they just started out and created this business from scratch. It's really amazing and I think it's really awesome. And that is the true spirit of on entrepreneurs if you got a dream you gotta go for it you gotta do it and don't let them stop you just go and create something like this it's pretty awesome so their mission is all about breaking the translation barrier for you and me so even we small entrepreneurs can also use this system to create a multi website for not high cost well we're gonna see about that cost later on so the first thing we need to do to sign up, we need to go to wpressdoctor.com slash this. Now this is not affiliate link, it's a referral link. So if you follow this link, I can get more machine words, I even get a pen, I also can get a t-shirt and at the max I can get a flight to their headquarters. Well, if I'm going to there, I'm gonna make an awesome video about the flight and the whole trip. All right, <laughs> let's get going. Then you fill in your name. WordPress doctor and you fill in your email address and you create a password. I agree and I press register now. All right, now we have to check our email. And after you got the email, you press activate your account. Then we will be redirected to our account in just five seconds. And now we're gonna create our domain name. So first thing we need is we're gonna add our uh, domain name. In our case, it will be HTTPS poppupballets.nl. And your website technology, in our case, it is WordPress, and we press next step. All right, so the thing you need to grab right there is the, is the API key. Just press this copy button, go back to your WordPress website. And now on your WordPress website, we go to plugins, add new, and we're gonna add the convey this plugin. All right, just press install now and press activate. Now we go on the left side to convey this and we're gonna add our API key right there. Pretty awesome. Then we press save changes. All right, so now we have added our API key and now we can select our source language. So choose the language that is currently on your website. We have we have Dutch on this website and I want to translate it to English. Remember on the free plan you can only choose one target language. Press show more options and here you can find all translation in our account and let's see what the rest of the options is on Convey this. Redirect visitors to translate pages automatically based on the browser settings. Well you can choose yes or no if your current language is English, then I would not suggest you do that because sometimes the browser is set to English, but the person speaks Dutch or German or another language. So yes, you can enable this, but it doesn't work that good. It's up to you. Let's choose yes, then let's see what happens right now. Hide the logo. Well. If you are a paid customer, you can hide the Convey This logo, but it's not available right now. You can translate media files. If uh, SEO internationally is a big thing for you, you should use yes and change all the media files 
for international. On this example, we're not going to do this. Maybe later on. I choose to translate PDF files, which is very handy. And I have never seen this before in a translation plugin. So if you have PDF files, you're using a lot of them on your website, definitely choose yes. Allow to change text direction from left to right. This is useful with Arabian websites or a Japanese or Chinese or anything else. href lang text. Yes, you need them on all pages. This is very useful for your SEO or else Google will not recognize your pages in different languages and will not rank you international. And that is what we want. All right, you can show the select box on or off. You can go down. You can also use a picture for your flag. It's going to be a rectangle, a square, a circle or no flag at all. I really like the rectangle flag, but if the style of your website is more rounded, then you should use the circle flag. Display the name of the text, the short text or no text at all. Here you can choose if you want to show the text in the translator module. Most of the time, you really don't need the text, you only need the flag. However, it really depends on the design and where you are placing this module. If you're using it, for example, inside of your menu bars, I would definitely go without text because then you only need an icon. If you're going to use it somewhere else on the low side, uh, left, right or anything, then use it with full text. Let's go with full text right now. We're going to play with this later on. The position can be fixed or custom placed somewhere inside an element. Let's choose fixed right now. So do we want the translator on the top or on the bottom? Well, the bottom is choose standard because on the, I think you have on the top your menu, so that will not work very good. Let's use on the bottom and let's go with the right side. Here you can actually add some spacing onto your module, which is very useful if it doesn't look that well within your design. The URL structure is excellent like this. You can also change it to subdomains uh, also in but that's only available in the pro plans. But I would go with this is just great. And in this last part, you can actually change custom flags with different languages. Say the flag isn't matched up right. You can change it right here. And of course, all the way down there, we have also block pages. Here you can choose what pages not to translate on your website. Pretty awesome. Let's press save changes right now and let's see what happens. All right, so Confay, this says now our translation should be working. So let's go to my customer's website to see what will happen. So don't forget to clean your cache if you're using a caching plugin because or else nothing will work. And then when we load our website from our customer, we will see on the bottom right corner, there is a module right there. So let's press it. Let's see what happens. We are going through English. Here's the logo. Let's go to English so you can actually understand what this says. All right, everything's being translated on the fly. Pretty awesome. COVID-19, well, you can't actually translate that one. Red, that's good. Portfolio is also good. About us, news and contact. Pretty good, pretty good. Actually, I'm really impressed by the translation quality of this plugin. It's amazing. Here, check this website. You can use our palettes endlessly. Change as often as much as you want. Everything is possible and the variation in designs is endless because the users of our palettes are invited to share designs and ideas online. For so far, so good. I am really impressed by the quality of this translation. And it all looks good. You know, all the buttons have been translated. Uh, the footer has been translated. The menu has been translated. This is pretty awesome. Let's go in. Let's dive into another page and see what happens. So let's see how this plugin works together with WooCommerce because on this website, I created this website so people can ask for a quote, but it's based on WooCommerce. So that's pretty awesome. So let's see. I want to have a awesome table. They build everything out of this wood. It is really awesome. And we're going to it's translated pretty awesome. Let's go with a outside standing table. All these names are based on uh, cities and stuff and they're actually they're they're not translated. So this is really great. I want this standing table. Let's see what happens. Show all results. It's actually placed on quotation. It really works. I must say I am impressed. I am very impressed. All right. So now it has been placed in our quotation. Let's see if this works. Now we have here our quotation. 
This is like, pay attention, the quotation does not include costs for transport and costs for construction. It's a pretty good disclaimer. Translated, perfect. Continue to request the quote. How are they doing this? It actually is pretty awesome. This is my checkout page, your data, extra information. Your data, it could be improved. Your data could be improved. First name, surname, company name. When do you need the products? Date selector. January, February, March, April, May, June, Julia, July, August, September, October, November, December. This is actually really accurate. Monday, ah, here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This has not been translated. Ha <laughs> ha! But it's the only thing that I could find. This has not been translated. And it's not strange because this is actually... But those are just letters. So I understand it could, could not be translated. However, I still want to have it translated. So how are we going to do that? Zip code, city, comments, location, product, subtotal, place, quotation. This is really... I'm really excited about this. So what are we going to try right now? We have seen that the translation of the pages actually works really good. This is a theme. Oh, I know these guys. Also, these translations are really accurate. I have never seen an automated plugin translating a website working this awesome. This is insane. It really translates 100% accurate. This is crazy. So, but what I'm curious about is I want the flags inside my menu of Divi. Let's see if the theme builder can also work with this plugin. So we go to appearance, we go to menus, and then we go to add a config. This has been added to our menu. So we press this one. This is the main menu, yes. And I want to put in English. Let's see what happens. Config this English custom link, all right? Let's just save this menu. We're going to clear the cache and we're going to see what happens right now. It actually works and it works pretty good because when I press it right now, here we go to the English website and it's translated amazingly. So this works awesome. And now also the flag changes to the Dutch version. So now you can change it back to the Dutch version. All right, so the website works, everything's being translated. We can add it into our menu. We can use it on the lower side. It's awesome. So let's go to the dashboard of Confay This, so you log in and this is what you get. We have the current plan, a free seven day trial. That's pretty awesome. If you click on domains, you can actually see the domains you are working on right now. And you have Confay This activated on your website. You can easily turn this switch off and then the entire website will be shut down. No translations will be shown on this website. Why is this useful? If you have different clients, then this is a useful option if they stop paying, for instance, or anything else. Normally, if you click on my translations, you would see some of this website translation and we can change this. I'm going to show you later on in the pro version. If you go to settings, this is just your API key and some script for if you don't want to use the plugin or example and here of course the different plans and you have to referrals and if you go to the help center you will go to this website and here you can find all the answers you want so back at wordpress i got a pro plan to show you guys how that looks like so when you go to the back end of wordpress this is how your website looks like when you press more options you will now see that all the options that were previously not available are now available in the pro version for example hide the config this logo yes please i would like that and one other thing you can do right now is using subdomains for your URL structure. You have to change your DNS record for this to add a CNAME record in your DNS settings. It is easy if you know how. I'm going to show you some other time. So we're going to use just the subdirectory. Because of the pro version, I now also can add many more languages to deconfigure this. But I do like just one language, so that's okay. And as you see right now, I don't have a logo from Confay This up here. So I can change to the US language without any problems. That's really great. So let's really quickly dive into all these pages. 
So when I now go to my Confei this dashboard, you will see a different kind of approach. As you can see, now we have use words is counting up now. We have 5,683 words on the website of popuppalace.nl. Now you know how big of a website you would need and what plan you want to, you want to take if you have a lot of words, if you have a lot of pages. And the website is still online, also the translation, so you can just uh, go there and check it out. The page views, I only have 200,000 a month. I think it should be enough, but I'll be monitoring this in the future, how this will go in the next year or so to see how it works. And I want to have some feedback from my customers also. So if you now go to domains right there, you will see that you can go to my translations. And this is some pretty awesome feature because here now you can change your translations per page. So if I'm not happy with a certain translation of my website, I can go in here and I can actually go to my website. Let's see, let's go to the front page and we can click on text editor. Now you can see exactly how I wanted to see it. Original on the left side and a translation on the right side. This is great. So for the next, for example, they translated with next one. So let's make this back to next. All right. And it's updated right there. It's so easy. I just changed one text and it has been changed immediately. This is really great. I really love this system on the back end. And you can also let it be translated by some experts. And now it is being added to cart. And if I now go to my cart right there, you can see that this professional translation from Dutch to English will cost me around $8.80 for 98 words. It's pretty amazing. So if you have doubts about your translation, you can always do this and you pay per word. And this is actually the same as with other translation plugins that I've seen in the market. It just works the same. So the other thing we can do also is go to the official editor. Now I'm very curious how this will look. Oh, we go actually to the website. So here you can see this thing, finish editing is just a drag box which you can use. And I go, I can scroll down, change my language to English right now. And now I can click on this pencil and now I can just, this is the original and this is the English. And now I can just change the text right here in the official editor. This really works great. And there is only one thing I could really found that really needs improvement. Let me show you what happens. When I go now to Over Ons, it is About Us. This is the About Us page. As you can see, it is who it is, the company, the team and everything. If I now change this to the English language, what will happen to the URL structure? It will become English and still Over Ons. This one should be English slash about us. That is what really should be happening right there. I asked them, they say it's on their roadmap and I hope they add it really, really soon because this is quite a big problem in SEO because your titles and your URL structure is very, very important. So convey this back to work and fix those URLs. So the only thing I'm looking for right now is the description of my SEO. Is our SEO description made a tag and my title, which is put in by the plugin. And I think it is this one. Yes. So here we have found a title, which is Pub Papa Pellets Inrichting Verhuur and Verkoop van Pellet Meubelen. And they translated it as Pub Papa Pellets. Here we go furnishing rental and sale of pellet for furniture, which is exactly what it is. So the translation is pretty well done. So let's see what happens when I change this title to this is the convey this test. And I press this button. It says the translation is updated. Let's see on our website if the title text is really changed. So let's change it to English and watch the title right there. Pop up pellets, furnishing, rental, and sale of pellet furniture. Hmm, that didn't change. Let's see if I got it right. Oh, here's another one. Here is the same title again, but now it is right there. So let's change this one. Convey this title check. Translation is updated. Let's see what it does. And now when I refresh the page, 
Yeah, now the title has been changed. You see this? Convey this title check. All right, it's awesome. So we can also change the titles within Convey This. I was really happy with this because I was a bit concerned that you couldn't change the titles and the SEO meta descriptions. But as you can see, it is possible. So let's change this back to machine and then we're just going to save this. So when you're at your page and you want to approve a translation, you have to click this black button. And now it's changed to custom and now the check mark is gone. I think there's a bit of improvement right there because this isn't very logical. What I would like to see is that this check mark button would be another icon like um, like a question mark or an approve button or anything. And when you have pressed that button, the custom will go to green and we have a green border and the check mark is also green. That would be way logical. So comfy this, this is something else you could change. So two things they can change URL structure and the approved translation button. So there's one more thing I want to check and I want to see if you can add another image to the website when you're on a different language. So we are going to translate media. We press yes and we're going to save this page right there. So now I go to my domains. I go to pop up palettes and I go to my translations and then I go to the visual editor on the front page. Let's see what happens. And as they say in their documentation, you can easily change your images on the front end builder. So let's change the language to USA, to English. And when everything is loaded, you can just press this button on your image. And no, it will not work. It says translation not found. Make sure the plugin is installed correctly. All right. So I think this needs a little bit of polishing or maybe I am doing something wrong. I'm just going to ask support about what is happening. What is happening? Maybe it's because of Diffy. I don't know because I really like to change this image right now for the English visitors, but it really doesn't work. So I'm going to ask them why it's not working. Meanwhile, we're going on with the next topic. Another cool thing to show you is the glossary. Glossary, glossary. This is really awesome because now you can add a word that the machines will never translate on your website. So if I have, for example, my brand name is like, um, I am like the wood chopper and I want to keep the brand name the same for Dutch and it's like hout bewerker, then I would put it in right there and it will not translate or I'll translate as. For example, don't translate hout bewerker to English, for example. Save this rule and now this won't be translated. But I can also do translate as. So, hout bewerker, I can translate it as woodworker with a with a trademark sign, for example. And you can just add this and now it will translate these words exactly the same. This is great. I like this feature. And of course, we have the excluded pages and here you can just enter URLs to entire URLs that will never be translated by Convey This. Another thing, you can per domain add some team members. For example, just press on team and now you can email uh, translators so they get access to your Convey This account and they can also translate your website. That is really great if you have multiple people on your team and you want to work together, this is the way to do it. They also have one feature, this is pretty awesome. If you go to there and you go to limits, now it's getting very interesting because here you can actually create a limit for the words or the views. And let's say I limit the views to 1000 views. Then what happens after it hits the limit? I've been told that there will be no more translation available and they don't even see the button to translate the website. And I hear you thinking, but Google is excluded from the views. And so the bots are not counting with the views limit. This is pretty great if you have multiple websites and you want to stretch your plan across the board. Awesome. So if you go to settings, this is just everything we've already seen. Nothing new right there. If we go to plans, you can here see what it will cost you for pricing. We'll be talking about that in a few moments. If you go to words, here you can buy extra words. This is really great because now you have a one-time payment only. So 
if I have, for example, these many words, 200,000, and I want to have another 50,000 words, I can buy these for 162 euros. And how many dollars is that? 162. That is 130 dollars, roughly. So for 130 dollars, you get 50,000 words extra if you need them. All right, so the last thing, let's talk about pricing. Because let's go to dollars and we go for yearly. All right, we have now the pro plan with 200,000 words. As you have seen, the popuppalace.nl website has 6,000 words. You can go online, go to popuppalace.nl and you can see how many words there are and how it feels in comparison with your own website. And you can see how many words there are approximately. All right, let's talk about money. Because if you choose convey this, you have to choose wisely. Because if you want only three languages, for example, Dutch, American and Spain, then the business is great. We have 50,000 words. Well, that is more that is more than enough for our website because we only have 6,000. So let me do the math real quick for you guys. Our starting point is this website, which has 6,000 words. If I have 50,000 words available, I divide them by 6,000 and now I can have 8.3 website within this plan. All right, let's go to the monthly page views. This really depends on how popular your website is. As Papa Palace is in the event business, business is a bit slow right now because of, well, what's happening right now. The monthly page views, this is way more than enough because they only have 200, 300 page views a month. On normal days, when it was really good, they have a page view of 1,000, 2,000 a month. So let's take an average of 2,000 page views a month. I have 50,000 page views divided by 2,000. And now I can have 25 websites with 2,000 page views a month. All right, so that, that fits perfectly in my eight websites. Um, so I think it's pretty good. What, would you have, what, what do we have with this business plan? We have machine translation, you can edit them, you, you can buy professional translation, the page view the statistics are there, the automatic language redirection is there, premium support. They don't offer multi-site, all right. So the number of different websites we want to use Convey this on, on the business plan is just one. Oh no. We have not team members, no subdomains, no domain, no limits to set on like page view and words. All right. And we have no, no import and export. All right. So the business plan is just one website. So it really doesn't matter. Our entire calculation right there just doesn't work. But no worries. Let's go to the pro plan and do the, again the math on this one. If we have the pro plan, we pay $450 a year, all right. We can more, have more than six languages and we can have them on unlimited websites. So how many websites is that? Well, let's take an account that we have again, 6,000 words and 2,000 page views a month, which is really not much. And let's divide them 200,000 divided by 6,000 words. 33 websites. All right. And if I have 200,000 page views divided by 2,000 a month, I can have 100 websites. So if I use 33 websites within this plan, that is pretty rough, but it's pretty awesome. We can have 30, 33 websites for $450 a year. How much is that? Well, $450 dollars divided divided by 33 websites is 13.63 if you run this system on 33 websites you only pay 13 dollars and 63 cents per website that is not much however then you would need 33 websites and do you have 33 websites maybe if you are an agency you have however in real life a person only have i think one 
two or three websites mostly. So if you want to use it on three websites, then the cost is obviously $150 per website. And then you go and then you have and then you have actually the business side. So, so let's compare this with some other services in the market. I have a tutorial created about WPML, which is right there and it's pretty awesome, which shows you exactly how to translate your Diffy website or your Elementor website just like that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty straightforward. Let's get their pricing and compare this to this one. So on WPML, you have the prices for $80 a year and then you have page builder support, which is very important if you have a Divi website or a Elementor website or anything else. Um, and of course, if you have an agency, you have $160. So we need a page builder support, but how many websites do we have? Well, let's see. We have three websites for the $79 and we have unlimited websites for the multilingual agency for $160. So WPML is actually cheaper than Comfey this if you stretch it out in the long run. Why is Comfey this more expensive than WPML? It is of course because of all the translations are already in it. So what you pay for with Comfey this, the extra you pay is actually for the translation itself. So you don't have to translate it yourself. And my opinion from Dutch to English was a perfect translation. I'm very happy with it. If you want to translate to German, to Spanish, to Polish, to whatever, I don't know what language you want to translate to. I don't know the quality of Dutch translations, but English translation is pretty good. So the real question about the pricing is, are you willing to pay for the machine translation because that is the biggest difference with WPML. Hey guys, I hope you like this video, you find it informative. You can still check out papapalace.nl to see how the translation works and how good the quality is. And if you spot any differences, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button if you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. All right, guys, I see you in the next video. Have a awesome day.